what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and today on this episode we are going to install our lower valence fog lights on our s197 mustang let's get it Alrighty guys, so here we have our lower valence fog lights for our S197 Mustang. This is specifically for the 2013 Mustang. I believe it fits the 2014 and probably fits the 11 and 12 as well and 10. But um, I did the facelift on my Mustang. So as you guys know, I have the 13 bumper. But here are the fog lights. Now in this packaging, and I will leave all of this in a link in the description below. But in this packaging, it comes with the front face for the fog lights. It comes with the fog lights themselves. It comes with the entire wire harness with the switch. So we're going to wire all this up and you all will see that today. And it comes with a wire diagram and a warranty guide with the online support as well if you need some help. And not only do I have that, but not only do I have that, but the awesome sponsor of King Customs, which is the first sponsor of King Customs, Auto One has sent me out some bulbs for these fog lights. So now instead of having regular halogens, we're going to have some awesome LEDs. So here we have our bulbs from our sponsor Auto One and they hooked me up with these LED lights. So this will be in a link in the description below. Now, if you notice here, my fogs came with halogens, but I did replace one of them already. So I'm going to show you how to do that before we get started with anything else. So we're going to unbox our Auto One lights and we're going to pull our manual out there. And here you can see a difference in what the bulbs look like. So this is the standard halogen ones that come with the fogs. And this is the upgraded Auto One LED lights. So much thicker. It feels like an aluminum body and it's amazing LED. So I can't wait to get this in. I can't wait to see how bright this is going to be. Um, I already know what halogens look like and I don't really like how they show on the road. The LEDs are going to perform 10 times better. So let's plug this one in. So in order to replace your halogen light, which is an H11 bulb, we're going to just twist, pop it out, remove it, and we're going to take our new one, put it up in there, and twist and lock it in place. Now, if you notice, there was a blue seal, which is going to keep a watertight seal. So water does not enter these lenses and damage the bulb, which is going to be dope. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so both bezels are on, on the left and the right side. Now how I attach these, I used some sheet metal screws to put through my um, bumper and I went to Home Depot and I picked these up. They're a little bit longer, but it's all right. No one's seeing that. See, they protrude a little bit. So you can get something a little bit shorter than this, but this is what I use. So I'll leave this in the link in the description below for y'all. But um, I did go to Home Depot and pick these up. So Yep. Now, next step, we're going to assemble the fog light onto these. Now, when it comes to assembling your fog lights, the company did provide these screws to hook these fog lights on to the bezels. So we're going to do that right now. I just wanted to stop the video here real quick to let you guys know that there is an adjustment screw for these lenses. Anytime you see lenses like this, there are always adjustment screws. So once we install this, we're going to check where our beams go. Now, if they're too low to the floor, then we have to adjust them. And if they're too high, we don't want to blind people. So we're going to have to adjust them. Either way, they may need to be adjusted. Let's continue back to the build. Alrighty guys, so the next thing that we're gonna do is try to install the wiring. This is a huge mess, but I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible. Also, we're gonna follow the instructions 
2AT. So that way we can have the most professional install out there. So that was supposed to fall to the floor, not on me. Let's get started. Alrighty, so here is a quick walkthrough of what I did. Now I routed everything as neat as I possibly could to the fog lights. So what I did was take the ground, put a ground here on the ground side of the battery. And then I took the two positive wires, hooked them up to the positive side of the battery. And then I routed my wires all the way behind the manifold, zip tied them into place so they don't move. And then we pushed the part for the switch into the grommet out inside the driver's cockpit. And then we put the one ground over here on the fender. And then we're gonna find a nice place to mount our switch. Here is the switch so far. I think I'm gonna mount it up somewhere, probably besides here or, or here or somewhere on the, on the steering column or something, I don't know. But we'll figure it out. Make it look super neat, super nice. Alrighty guys, that is how you install your lower valence fog lights on this 2011 Ford Mustang with the 2013 face bumper. So I'm guessing this is gonna go for 2013 and 2014 Mustangs. So that's how you install your lower valence lights on the 2013 and 2014 Mustangs. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button because it does help with the YouTube algorithm and it helps shoot my videos out to other people. Also, if you're not a subscriber and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell notification at the side so you stay up to date with all my latest videos. And if you have not gotten a chance, definitely visit kingcustoms.com and pick up some of your merchandise to help support the channel. Other than that, guys, I will see y'all for the next one. Peace.